Are you tired of getting a bunch of spam comments on your Instagram page, everything from promote your content here to offensive things? Or maybe you're worried that Instagram is going to start thinking that you've hired bot accounts to comment on your photos and your videos because you're getting so many of them. We want to make sure we're taking care of this in a way that removes the stress from you and having to do the manual work of deleting these weird spam comments and blocking these accounts. So let's actually enable your hidden words feature so that you can signify keywords that they should then remove from your comments and do it automatically for you so you don't have to deal with it again. Inside of your Instagram page, you are going to go up to the top of this page where you have those three little lines. You're going to tap on those three little lines and you're going to see a bunch of different options. You're going to click on settings at the top and it may be somewhere different from you. Just look for the settings button and then you're going to go down to privacy. When you click on privacy, you've got a bunch of different options here. You're going to look for the one that says hidden words. At that point, you're going to tap on that. There's going to be a lot of options. You can do your hiding comments, your advanced comment filtering, hide message requests, but you're going to go down to custom words and phrases and you can see where we've got manage list. So you're going to go ahead and tap on manage list and at this point you're going to go ahead and type in your words, your phrases, whatever you need to do one at a time. So let's say promote it on as something we don't want because we know there's a lot of those right now and that's going to be added to your list. And at that point you can go back and you can then do toggling on and off of those hidden comments, whatever settings you need so that you can adjust this as you go. By enabling these hidden words, you then remove those words from your comments. But be smart about the words that you use. You don't want to use just basic things one word at a time because that could block things that might potentially be helpful. In fact, for me, if I just use the word promote, I might then not be able to see questions where people were asking, well, how do I promote my book on my own platform? Or how do I promote my course? Or how do I do these things that are valid questions and not spam accounts asking me to pay them to promote my content. So using those larger phrases that you see over and over and over again in these spam comments is going to be incredibly helpful. So my recommendation to you is to start paying attention to the spam comments you're getting, start noticing things you're seeing over and over again, and then add those to your filters and then test that as you go to see if it's going to stop with the crazy things that we are getting posted on our pages. And remember, the more spam comments you get, the more the algorithm is likely to say, oh, they're hiring somebody just to leave that interaction so it can look like they have more engagement so that they can whatever, make more money, do whatever. And that's not going to work to your benefit. They are removing those spam accounts. And if it looks like you've hired them outside of the platform, they could potentially shut you down too. So just be very careful of what you are putting in there to block yourself. And if you continue to see these spammy comments, make sure you report the comments. You can delete the comments. You can block the account and they'll block any future account that that person makes. So that will start to cut down on it. But we know how frustrating it can be because these just keep popping up again and again and again. And Hidden Words is definitely going to help you out on your platform. Let me know if you're going to try this out down below. Hello, hit that subscribe and notification bell. Every single day I'm dropping a brand new video on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, and the tools and resources you can use to level up your easy done with you content creation. So you don't even have to worry about what you're going to post. You just have to create it with me and then get back to running your business. Check out all the links down below to help you level up on your content creation and I'll see you in the next episode.